everybody, this is Judy Yarborough, the city marketer for the city of Reedsville. It's been a minute since we've seen you guys, and um, we're here today at Reedsville City Hall in the conference room, and I've got Chris Phillips here with us today, and Chris is the Assistant City Manager of Administration and Finance. And we're going to talk to you today about some things that are happening in 2023 that we're extremely excited about, aren't we, Chris? We are. 2023 is going to be our sesquicentennial year. That's a hard word to say, Chris. Well, we've been talking about it for a while, so we've gotten used to it. But sesquicentennial means 150th anniversary. So the city of Reesville will be 150 years old next year, actually incorporated on December 22nd, 1873. That's a long time ago. Um, it has been a minute. <laughs> It has been a minute. And so and we had, they had, did have another celebration. Was it the 75th? Did they do a set? What was the 100 year? It was the centennial. Um, actually, I think they celebrated all along. And, and part of our 150, we want to try to capture what Riesel was like on uh, a Founders Day. So we're going to have something at Governor Reed House for that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 25 years later, you know, we're right at the turn of the 19, 1900, turn of the century. Um, 23, so we were thinking about doing a 1923 concert, probably at the penthouse. Mm -hmm. uh, been kind of the era that that was built. Um, then we're looking at, uh, you know, the 1950s, uh, the 1970s, which most people probably remember, so we'll break out some bell bottoms and double knits and celebrate the 70s. That was the centennial, and in 1973, they actually had a, a collectible decanter mm -hmm. uh, that they had. Um, they put out some other little little items that are, you can find out and about now to celebrate 100 years. But we really thought we wanted to celebrate 150 because uh, a lot of us weren't here 50 years ago mm -hmm. and not many of us are going to be here in 50 years. Right. So this 150th birthday is really our time to really celebrate. Reedsville. Yeah. So, okay. and the thing to remember too is, and I know, um, you know, as Chris said, this is about the city of Reedsville. Of course, the residents and the businesses all made up Reedsville, but it's really more about the incorporation of the city of Reedsville. So we're planning to do a, a commemorative magazine, and we're really uh, digging into some, some history now, but it was the, when the, the town village actually became a city, became a town, and at some point became a city, which now when you cross 10,000 in population is when you consider a city. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to figure out exactly when we went from, from town to city. But, um, so we're gonna be looking at the history of, of people that served as mayor, um, our city managers, trying to look at some of our departments, talk about you know, when did we um, first build uh, some of our streets? When did we first build some of our uh, water and sewer infrastructure? It's pretty interesting. Riesel actually, the original electric grid was owned by the city. Hmm. Um, so some of those growing pains we've, we've looked into and um, now that we're in 2022 and the internet is mature as it is, there's a lot of stuff out there that we probably wouldn't have found. Uh, definitely they wouldn't have known when they celebrated uh, the 100th anniversary. Right. One of the interesting tidbits you were talking about today, which I thought was very um, funny actually, um, was tell us about what it used to be with the streets. Uh, so uh, we have an 1891 ordinance book and there was a major revision in 1891 so the town would have been only 18 years old but in there every man between the age of 18 and 45 had to work on the streets and if you didn't want to work on the street you could pay 50 cent to get out of that day's work. So that's, that's a pretty, pretty interesting tidbit there. Yeah, I don't know that we can get every <laughs> male in Riesel 18 to 45 to come out and work on the streets now. But, no, and you'd uh, have to charge more than 50 cents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they might, though. Well, might, be, might be a good fundraiser. <laughs> maybe. So, Chris, you're talking about some of the activities. So in January, what's going to kick it off? So we're going to start, we're going to celebrate the whole year, and the actual day will be in December. But... Uh, January, we're going to start with the uh, sesquicentennial clock tower. And it's going on the corner of Williams and Scales, uh, right across from the fire department. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were fortunate to get um, a 9-11 sculpture that we dedicated last year in September. It's on one corner, and this will be on the other corner. Um, and it'll sort of make an entryway into downtown right. when you're coming from that, that side of town. Something we've looked at doing um, for a long time and we thought it was a great time to do it 
is with the sesquicentennial. So the clock tower will go up um, the first week of January. That, that's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to this year because there are so many different events that we've got planned for that. Um, I'm excited about the lawn party at the penthouse. Yeah. Um, we will be building our new building at that time. Hopefully it's going to be done by the lawn party. I surely hope so. But um, that's going to be fun. You know, Chinqua Pen used to do the Gatsby party. Right. So um, this will be similar to that. We do have a Gatsby band that's going to be performing. So, um, and Robin's really been working hard on the bands for next season at right. Market Square. So um, we're going to kind of tap into things we already do. So our committee for the sesquicentennial was myself and our city marketer, Judy Yarborough, uh, city clerk, Angela Stadler, um, community development, uh, employee uh, Donna Setliff, who has been here a long time, recently <laughs> retired, but she's still working with us part time and helping with this. And uh, our HR director, Leanne Basinger, made out the, the, the original group, but we brought in our Main Street manager because she, she handles so many, uh, already handled so many events. And mm -hmm. we want to make these sesquicentennial events. So, like the 1973 uh, recognition will be a concert with a 70s band. So we're going to tag that concert and, um, and, and help celebrate the, the anniversary. And really, you know, we're talking a lot about the last 150 years, which we're going to try to document some of that. But there's a lot going on right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things are going to happen next year that yes. are going to affect the future. Uh, you mentioned Penthouse having an expansion, um, the clock tower going up. But we're also we're looking at a ribbon cutting for an all-inclusive playground. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at a ribbon cutting for a splash pad. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the process of updating the streetscape on Scale Street. That's going to be finished next year. So a lot of really, really big projects that are going to carry us for a part of the next 150 years. That's right. So we're celebrating the past, the present, and the future. Right. And that entrance into downtown is going to be really nice when that is done. That's, that's really going to look good coming into downtown. Yeah, it sort of, uh, sort of will define that, that side of it. Uh, we've got the, uh, the roundabout on the other end and, and for the little commercial district there. So. Right. And the park coming in back here yep, behind park, City Hall. Yep. The all-inclusive park will be um, um, behind City Hall, part of downtown. We've wanted, uh, people have wanted to put a park in downtown for a long time. And, uh, to be able to combine that and make it a park for all uh, is really going to be really, really a great addition. It is going to be a great addition. And one of the things that we're really trying to accumulate right now is some artifacts, some pictures, and those kind of things. We are. So we have some things um, that we're going to be able to, to share with the public. We plan on having uh, a room or two at the Governor Reed House where we're going to put some artifacts. But if you folks out there have anything you'd like to donate that you think is of interest. If you think it's interesting, everybody else probably will too. Um, something from Riesel's history. Um, we like donations because we don't want to take something of yours on a loan and, and tear it up. But if you could donate it to us or um, if there's some photographs you could email to us, we'd love to include that. We can't promise we're going to put your photograph in, but um, like I said, if you think it's interesting, uh, we probably will, and your fellow citizens of Team Reese will probably will too. They will. And I think the magazine, I'm really, that's going to be a great thing. Um, and Judy Neal is working on that for us. Um, so she's out selling sponsorships. We do have sponsorships available for that. i, I got to get a plug in for that because we're looking for sponsors. Um, but just remember with that sponsorship, um, you, you get advertising the whole year. You can't beat that. Um, you, you were advertised at all the events. You're advertising all the advertising we do, and uh, and believe me, we're going to be doing a ton of that all yeah. year. So well, it's a way that that some of our current businesses can participate, and uh, and you know they can put something in the magazine if they've been in business for for uh, 30 years. They mm -hmm. can say congratulations on 150 years as a city, and we're celebrating 30 years, you know, as a dry cleaner. Whatever. Right, exactly. Um, we would love to have um, as much participation. Um, through those sponsorships as we can get. Right, and we, we price that so it can be affordable to everybody. So you can get an eighth of a page ad, which is like a business card size for a hundred bucks. So um, yeah, it's and that the magazine itself is gonna have a lot of information about the history. We're looking for all kinds of little tidbits that we can find. Um, to drop them in as part of the history. So uh, that's going to be a great thing. We're also doing a calendar. Yeah, we're going to get a calendar out uh, so that uh, we're going to have about two events each month. Um, we're going to have an open house at some of our facilities. We're going to have the concerts. 
Um, we're going to have different things going on, so we want to get a calendar out so everybody can have that, hang it up, use it for the year, and you'll know uh, when these events are going to happen. We've, we've got a pretty good slate of things mm -hmm. uh, all year round that we would love to have everybody come out and enjoy. Absolutely, and all these events will be free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. So, um, and there's, we've got some really great stuff planned. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I am too. I'm excited and uh, uh, almost a little bit pooped at this point. We've, we've done a lot of work, but it's coming, it's going to be here, and it's just going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year, and we're really excited about it. And we'll be coming to you again to give you more information about individual events that are happening every month um, once we get started. And I'm, I'm hoping Charles will be out there to cover some of those events for us so um, we can be live when we do them. So um, thanks for joining us today, and look forward to seeing you again.